Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins from the Black Business School and YourBlackWorld.net. Um, I saw today that there was a little boy, um, unfortunately, who down in uh, Florida was kidnapped by some uh, alligators, or by an alligator. A gator dragged him away. And the police, doing what I would expect police to do, um, they went and they did whatever they could to try to find the boy. They actually, um, they actually went through the process of uh, killing several gators to try to find the boy's remains. Um, and so I think that's interesting, given that they killed four alligators to find this little two-year-old boy. Um, uh, my question for anybody out here who saw the similar incident with the gorilla and the black boy is, you know, where where's the outrage? Uh, where's, you know, all the screaming and hollering over the fact that they didn't have to kill these alligators? I mean, the boys, you know, unfortunately the boy may not, there's a good chance he probably won't come back. Um, God rest his soul, wherever he is. Um, but, you know, uh, what, what, you know, where's the outrage over the dead alligators? Where's your outrage over um, the mother? Are you trying to get the mother investigated as if she's a criminal? Because, like many millions of other mothers, her child got away in, out of her vision and got into something. Um, you know, it's very, it's just interesting to me that in this situation, uh, with the gorillas, you had people that were upset that the gorilla got shot to save the black boy in the zoo. You were, you saw people that were upset with the mother, uh, for letting the child get out of her sight and to fall into the gorilla pit and people made it into a crazy thing. And now, you know, these four alligators have been killed. Um, the, you know, the mother hasn't been investigated. They're actually grieving for this mother, which is what they should be doing. Um, and they're realizing a very simple idea that an animal's life is not worth that of a human being. It does not mean we want to go recklessly kill animals. It doesn't mean you want to mistreat animals. But you got to have your priorities straight. And one of the things that I honestly think this is a reflection of is the fact that black people are seen as animals. Black people are seen as being less than animals. Uh, black people don't get the respect of animals. Black, I, th I truly believe that there are people out here who will be um, more upset over a... Uh, a dead animal than they would be over a dead black child. In fact, all the outrage that people have over dead animals, let's say that they're um, endangered species or something like that, uh, you don't really see that happen so much with um, black people, black children. When black children are murdered in Chicago, I don't see the people on the north side who love their cats and dogs saying anything about it. They don't care. They just think, well, you know, that's what niggas do. Niggas shoot each other. So I think ultimately um, black people have to become diligent and thoughtful about this. We got to realize uh, what we're up against. We got to realize we're dealing with people who don't like us very much. We're dealing with people who don't respect us very much. We're dealing with people who, um, in some ways, they, you know, they either want to see us dead or don't mind seeing us dead. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I, again, my condolences to the both both families. I mean, I can't imagine the tragedy they're going through. But, uh, you know, I'll be damned if you don't act like my, you know, a little black boy's life ain't worth more than that of a gorilla. And maybe I'm old-fashioned. Maybe you think I'm just, uh, you know, um, too extreme. I don't know how that's defined, but a child's life is worth more than an animal. That's not even a debate. So, anyway, that's it, guys. I'm about to get out of here. Um, by the way, we are selling Hidden Colors 4, which I'm in Hidden Colors 4. Looking good with my gray beard. I'm not messing with you guys. Uh, I am in Hidden Colors 4 along with a lot of other amazing people. And uh, I, hear, I have not seen the whole film yet. I saw a couple of my little clips, you know, that people sent me. But um, I'm dying to see it. Um, I talked to Tariq Nasheed. We're selling Hidden Colors 4 as a bundle pack. And if you buy it with us, you get a chance to get the film. You also get a free class where I'll deliver exclusive content to you. Um, on financial literacy, wealth building, I'm going to tie it into Black Wall Street, things like that. And also you get uh, free e-copies of, of four of my books, uh, Black American Money, Financial Love Making, What a George Bush Were a Black Man, and uh, It Takes a Village to Raise the Bar. So, um, you know, basically check it out if you want to. It's at HiddenColorsBundlePack.com. That's HiddenColorsBundlePack.com. Also, we, as a part of our Black Millionaires of Tomorrow program for children, we are selling uh, flashcards now for children where you can actually have flashcards with uh, black people on them doing business, black people uh, building wealth, and you can use this to teach your children uh, various concepts that relate to wealth building. Um, you can check the flashcards out at financialflashcards.com. That's financialflashcards.com. So we're trying to consistently build uh, education, uh, educational programs, protocols, and products that will allow you to um, to build, to, to create the world you want to live in. That, that's what our goal is. That's what I love to do. I've been a teacher for 20 years, so that's my MO. So take care, guys. I love you. Talk to you soon. Peace.